and everything has to be connected to the ground wire. So this IPAC4 has two ground wires uh, on here. Uh, so I'm going to use one ground wire for the um, action buttons and then I'll use the other ground wire afterwards for all of the LED lights. And basically you're just going to daisy chain this. I'm going to start here. I'm going to connect the ground here and then I'm, going to gra I'm, then, I'm then going to connect the ground wire for the joystick to it. And this whole thing will be ground and I'm just going to connect this to each button and joystick all the way around. But everything's going to be connected on one wire and that one wire is going to plug into the first ground right here. Let's get this wire here. You'll notice it's got this little black tip which will not connect to there so we're just going to snip that off, strip it, and stick it in there. Let's do that. Just snip that right off just like that. And you strip the end like that. Expose the wire. That's good. Then we're going to drop this right here in the ground wire. Let me try and put it behind all this stuff. There we go. Let's drop that in there. That's secure. Alright, so now this whole wire is grounded. So I can just connect it to each thing and every time I ground it to that thing, that thing will become connected and the next and the next. So every single um, item needs to be um, grounded, the joysticks and the buttons. And it's got these little hooks daisy chain, you just connect it to each one as you go through. So we'll start with the black wire here. Um, as you can see, this has the little tip, which will not go on this thing right here, right? So what we have to do is snip this off, and we'll have three wires, the two that are connected to this, and then this one, and then we'll uh, splice them together, Put a little blue cap on it and it'll be and the joystick will be grounded and then we can just continue on with the rest okay actually let me put this first one on here just to secure it This is kind of long, so I can just attach it here on the end. Probably going to have to do this one here like this. Okay. So we're going to snip this off. I'm going to connect this one, put a hat on it. So this one's connected to this micro switch and it's supposed to continue on to the next ones. But we need to ground this on there first. Okay, so let's snip that right there. We're going to have to strip each one of these here. There we go. That one. And this one here. There we go. So all three of these, the ground wire for the joystick needs to get spliced in. So all three of these are going to get twisted together. Okay, so we're just going to twist all three of these together. So now we're going to get the little hat thing, put it on there, blue connector cap on all three, just twist them 
nice and good. There we go. So now the ground wire for the joystick. Now the ground wire for the joystick is plugged in. That micro switch is plugged in and it's continuing on for all the others. And now that I've got this one, I'm going to have to do the same thing with this ground wire here. I'm going to have to splice this one for this joystick onto here also. So it's going to get a little blue cap, all three wires, and then I'll continue on with the micro switches here. There we go. So now those three are all twisted on. So now this joystick ground wire is connected to the overall ground wires. Okay, so both joysticks are connected. And now I'm just going to continue on. Oh, I missed one. I missed one right here. Do not want to do that. It is a bummer when you go to play that game and that button does not work because it is not connected to a ground wire. There we go. Hold on. And we'll just continue on with these. Is that going to reach? I think so. So, these red ones were some extras from Game Room Solutions. I bought these blue ones from a website online, and the Game Room Solutions one are definitely a better quality than these, um, these blue ones. The blue ones seem to work, but they just don't seem to connect as nicely and hold as well. Uh, these red ones from Game Room Solutions seem to be a little bit better than the ones, these other ones I got. Here's a black ground wire. This is the ground wire for this joystick. Remember we made it like really long because we had to test it. Um, I think I prefer to just ground its white wire rather than having two hats on it. So let me take this out. I'm going to take this hat off here. Snip that. Just peel off this ground wire here. So I peeled it back. And I'm just going to snip off that piece of black wire I put on it. And I'm just stripping this. And this is, in theory, oh, we know it works because we tested it earlier. This is the ground wire for this joystick. Uh, so it's got to connect also by being spliced with the um, with the uh, ground wire and that actually works just right I've reached the end of this ground wire so I'll just snip it off and splice it on to here along with the next ground wire so I've got to do the same thing cut off the little black tip and I'll just connect the new wire to this first wire along with the ground wire for this joystick and that'll be the three-way splice for that joystick. Okay. Get the rubber band off this thing. So that's going to connect to here. On this. Actually, it doesn't need to be this long. I'm going to cut this shorter. Okay, so this is the new ground wire. Expose that. And that's going to connect to the white ground wire of this joystick and the end of this ground wire that I'm finishing up with. Okay, so I've reached the end of this wire. So I'm going to snip off the end of this ground wire here. 
12. Strip the end. Okay. So this one is going to go to our new ground wire along with the wire for the joystick. This is part of this white bundle. There we go. And those three right there are going to get put together. Bam. So this will continue the ground wire I've done. Start a new one and ground this four-way joystick here. Let's put a cap on that. There we go. And now we can continue with this other ground wire as I do all the other buttons. It'll just continue right along. Daisy chain here. We've got these three here. I think I'll do those next. And then I'll do this one. Actually, I'll come up and zigzag it back around here. Every button needs the ground wire. So now I've got this joystick here. So it's got a long wire that I need to cut as well. So it's got to do that three-way splice thing also. So let me do it. On this day's journey, I've got one, one, two, three, four, five, and six buttons. Ugh. All right, well, I'll just snip it off here then. And then I'll have to use the other cord. And then I've got this other one here. Well, hold on, I've got this extra one here. I might be able to use this instead of opening a new one. Yeah, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on here. Okay, that's good. So, this is the ground wire I've been using that I'm going to cut off. Okay, so don't need that. Here's the ground wire I've been using. Let's strip that. So the ground wire I've been using, the new ground wire, plus the two joystick ground wires. All four are getting wrapped together here. So here's the joystick, here's the joystick, there's the two joystick ones. Here's my new ground wire, which will continue on up here. And where's my old, oh, my old ground wire? Here we go, all four coming together. There we go. Wow. Four wires, two joysticks, and two ground wires. All being put together in one. And I need a little cap. I want this one to be nice and secure. It's an important one. There we go. All right. So the two, these player one and Three joysticks are grounded. I've got a new ground wire I'm using. And I can finish up these last six buttons. I did these four buttons, right? Okay, that's it. There we go. Everything got it. Look at that. Just two left over. I'm going to snip these ones right off and don't need those. There it is. Everything is connected to the same ground wire. 
all and it starts right here in this ground connection right here hopefully I didn't miss anything but if I hit a button and it doesn't work it means I missed something let's test it out <laughs> 